Hello guys, I know you waited for so long, but here it is, part two. I had so much shit going on and I kind of had to deal with it. But I'm finally here, half a year later. And yeah, let's go. So, uh, in the last episode we're covering the auto fill part, but in this one we're actually we're going to select the item and add it to our card. So, instead of using that F12 console, uh, we're gonna use Chrome extensions, which is pretty nice because because you can then add some kind of mini and it's and it just looks kind of cool. Uh, okay, so first off, you will need to download these four files from the description, and uh, and yeah, after downloading them, you will need to make a new file, call it however you want. I'm gonna call it s2basket.js, and then you need to go to manifest. Uh, JSON and write it once again right here. This is very important because without it you won't be able to load it to Chrome. And then you go to Chrome extensions, you inst you enter the developer mode, you hit load unpacked and then you select the folder your files are in. And as you can see it added a new uh, extension. And there is there it is with this cool little icon which you can uh, change whenever you want. This doesn't really matter. Okay, so we have our extension. Let's uh, write some code. Okay, so we will start with uh, with selecting the category of the item. So, for example, T-shirt or whatever. So we type var oh, var category and let's select shirts. And then we will need uh, we're gonna make a function called pick category. And inside we're gonna use get and we're gonna go into category function data. I'm not gonna explain this to you guys because it's a little bit more advanced than the last tutorial. But uh, let's just go. Okay, so here we're gonna make a new variable, call it redirect. And then here we're gonna set a random page, but it has to be after something after all. So it has to be shop all something. So for example, jackets. We're, we're gonna select jackets. And then in the next line, we're gonna make a new variable, re replace, which will change the, uh, which we'll call a replace function on the redirect string. And in the tree place function, we're gonna swap jackets with something else. So we're gonna swap it with our category. So this thing, jackets, is gonna swap with shirts. So it's gonna go to shop all and shirts. And after that, we just need to redirect. So from runtime send message, uh, redirect tree uh, place. So it's gonna redirect to the replace spot. So go to Chrome extensions, reload, and now if we go to all, wait, how does it? Oh, actually, uh, we need one more thing. So, oops, var URL is equal to window location. Href because our script right our script right now doesn't know when should it execute so we need to tell tell him so uh, we need to tell him that it should execute if the URL is equal to shop supreme all supreme all it should call the pick category function okay so let's go Prove it one more time. So here is our URL, here is our category, and then here we're setting a variable, some random one variable, and then we're replacing the jacket string with our category, which is, which is shirts, and then we're just redirecting using send message. And then if the URL is all, it's gonna just call this function. So let's try and run it. Okay, so we're shop all F5. And as you can see, it redirected us to shirts. So if we go to shop all, hit F5 or refresh, 
it's going to redirect us to shirts. Let's let's try some more uh, more stuff. T-shirts. Oops. Uh, so reload all F5, and it redirected us to T-shirts, as you can see right here. Let's try pants. I don't know if there is this kind of category. Yeah, there is. So all F5. Oh, we didn't reload. Pants. So you get the idea. It kind of works. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, after that, we need to pick our item, I guess, right? So after category, we're going to make item name. And for example, we're going to pick these ones. Studded sweatband. Okay, so we're just going to pick studded. And then, um, after that, we're just going to make another function, call it pick, pick item. And inside, we're just going to copy this thing, delete context, and instead, uh, we're going to make an uh, item name, just like that. I think we're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna scan through, uh, scan through items, document that element. Wait, let me get a shortcut right here. Get element by class name. And if I remember correctly, it was name link. I'm not sure, but we'll uh, check it out in a second. And then we're gonna make a loop. For, okay, we cannot do that, so just do it like this somewhere. Mm. Oh, not int i, sorry. Okay. For i is equal to zero, i is less than i times length, length, i plus plus. Okay, and now if uh, if what? If items i includes no 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 sorry inner HTML includes um, if it includes item name then so if it finds the item then we need to make another redirect send message redirect items i href and then we're gonna break because that's a loop and then we need to make so it calls in the right in the right time so if the url is not equal to this thing then we're gonna pick item. Okay, and this should be this should be fine. So reload. And now hit F5. Huh. That's kind of weird, to be honest. If URL doesn't equal, how about else if? Huh, that's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? Um. Oh, here, length like that. Okay, sorry. Typo. Okay, so let's try one more time. And as you can see. It picked the studded pants. So let's test it out. And for example, let's go to. Oh, well, actually, let me turn it off for a second because it's gonna it's gonna keep um, getting the pants. Okay, go. To, let's go to hats and let's get this fitted cap. So we go here. We type caps. 
and you type further here, and then you just simply reload, go to all, F5. Well, I don't know why it doesn't. Okay, caps doesn't seem doesn't doesn't seem to load at all. Okay, how about? But if we go to hats, I think it's something about my internet right now. Okay, let's go to accessories. Accessories and and let's pick the panther thing. Panther. Okay, reload, all, F5, and as you can see, it picked the panda. So, we can also, um, I feel like, I feel like that's it for this tutorial, it's quite a lot, actually, because it lets you, as you can see, it, it picks the item really quickly, so yeah. That's it for this tutorial. We can try just one more item, so I'm sure it works. Give me a second. So, I don't know. What should I get? Uh, let's say I want this thing. It's in jackets, okay. Okay, I want this, this wool thing. Okay, so I go to jackets. Wool. And then I go all, F5, oh, reload, forgot, reload, F5, and bang, it selected this item. Okay guys, thanks for watching, sorry, so, sorry for, my, for my break, but, you know, this is how it has to be, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for more, more tutorials, see ya.